What is up guys and welcome back. My name is John, known as Mr. Rain to you guys. I thought I would show face on one of my first videos ever. Uh, quick note on the video, there is a timeline in the description. If you don't want to hear the crap I'm saying, then just use it right now. Otherwise, give me 15 seconds. I just want to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. It's been a marvelous uh, four, five, six months, I think it has been. And there is tons more stuff on the way. So excuse me for the green screen. It's a work in progress as I upgrade all my stuff because I'm actually going to be going full time as well. So again, I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers and check this video out. All right guys, let's get into this. So this was a three hour, eight minute run and I edited that down to one hour 56. So that's a massive chunk over an hour and 10 minutes of footage that you just don't need to see, making this video shorter for your liking. And that's my motto really, less watching and more playing. So the trophies in this run are going to be the Frugalist, which is not to use any health items, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, as well as the a small carbon footprint, and this is to take 14,000 or less steps in one playthrough. And then this is also an S run, but you could also use this as a speed run guide because it is under 3 hours and, well 3 hours 30 I think it is on the standard mode, but this is on assisted, obviously, for this run. So you won't be able to unlock unlimited ammo doing it like this. But this is obviously with the unlimited ammo. So you need to complete the game in 3 hours 30 on standard in order to unlock the infinite ammo handgun. And that's what I've done right here to do this. Okay, so I want to give you lots more information as we progress, as well as some of the editing that I'm going to be doing. First thing I've got to say is that take speed out of the equation. You do not need to rush yourself. What I like to do is enter a room, stand in one position and kill as many enemies as you can without having to run around. But we'll get into this a lot more detail in a little bit. Now, the 45 cap, definitely collect all of that because it makes these bosses a breeze. So I collect the 45 cap, I leave the handgun, although she doesn't pick up any handgun bullets because she uses the different weapon. But you can craft them, but I don't think I crafted a single handgun bullet, just crafted the acid rounds which is the large gunpowder and the high-end gunpowder. Some notes on the inventory. So I'm going to show you the inventory before I leave every save point. And the save point is your friend. I'll tell you more about that in a second. So there we go, just giving you an idea of what you can do. I'll just fast forward that in a second there. Now that kind of thing you do all the time because these guys, you have to kill them and you have to make sure that they're dead or re-dead if you will. So I like to continue shooting them in the head until they have a watermelon or they do a final maneuver where you know they're dead again. So at this point, as you can see, standing in one spot, not much walking around. Now in the end, I think I did it in just under 12,000 steps, I think it was. But in this run, I thought I would um, not use it sparingly, as in I would just do what I would normally do, go pick up what I would normally pick up and actually see how stingy or how lenient they are with those steps. In the end, it was fairly lenient. Okay, so starting off, we're going to head upstairs and we're going to grab the... See this kind of thing there? Trying to avoid doing that. Running into a wall and not moving. Jesus, what a start. We're going to head upstairs and grab the weapons lock for key card. Son of a bitch. And I have to say, this is definitely my funnest run being able to offload a clip into all these guys and not only shoot for the head but shoot them in different body parts to see how it looks and how they react is just awesome i had tons of fun just a bit upset that it's the only weapon that has the infinite ammo or well, all of the handguns do but uh, i guess a minigun run would be good maybe if we s rank the fourth survivor or something but i'm not too sure at present okay so we've grabbed the key card we're going to head all the way down and now obviously i can explain things that i've done wrong so your run should be better 45 cap, godsend. So this might look familiar off the bat. You start off on this side, on the B story. Okay, I did that for a test. I sped up all the gunshots because I wanted to see if he was still alive when I came back. Because that guy I could never seem to kill. And he is. So it kind of just reanimates. Again, re-reanimates. I don't know. Okay, grab the flame rounds and now we're going to do the inventory. Now, I don't do it so clearly now, but uh, I will show the inventory every time when I leave the save room. A lot of people have been commenting on other videos about people not showing what they're taking to the next area, which is kind of vital, which is the advantage of commentary, really. Okay, so normally I would just fade away here and then we would be exiting the building or the room and I would show you again. 
But there was some more stuff to grab. See now, save all that high grade stuff for the large gunpowders. And that will make 8 acid. If you just use it with a normal one, only make 4. So at this point, take the key card. I didn't do it. But definitely take the key card. And I think I reloaded my game. Which is why when I reload, I'll actually have the key card in my inventory. But take it with you right now. Leave the herbs. Try leave the herbs. So you'll see now this guy is alive. Or re-dead. Or Jesus, I don't know, he's moving. No, nope, he's not moving. I stand corrected. Or currently sit corrected. I think in the standard mode, he reanimates. There's something you can do here. Shoot off his arms and legs. And I can confirm this can be done on a dead zombie, if you will. And then you will get the challenge, just the torso, I think it is. Yeah, butter torso. <laughs> and again, this just unlocks some models or some paperwork or artwork, I think it is. Seriously. Porter had a board. I do not. So like I was saying before, kind of stay in one spot, kill off every enemy that you see, shoot them until they're completely gone because you'll be running back and through here a lot of the time. And the last thing you want to do is run into arms of one of them and they'll be ripping your neck through your throat. Not cool. Not ideal either. Okay, so we're going to go in here and grab the round handle as well as some higher grade gunpowder. I swear I could do this run in my sleep. Okay, we're going to head through here and use the fuse, or the electrical part as it's called. Okay, in the big hall, as you can see here, I sped that up a little bit, and this is going to happen all the time. And I'm not going to keep telling you every time it speeds up, but if you see me moving faster, that's because I sped it up. And this is how I get the video down to its shortest form, leaving you with less to watch. And there should be two guys in here. There he is. Perfect timing. And that is, of course, your buddy from the previous run through. Just want to make sure he doesn't walk up to me. See, she was actually still alive. And again, I use the word alive sparingly. has to be it okay this was the first semi difficult part when we had to do this licker now the first couple of tries I ran in and threw the flashbang try to get past and he's still caught up with me down the passageway the best way to sort this guy out is to alert him to your presence and then tuck tail you can see he nearly hit me there he will not come through that door the second you go through it he'll start walking back so you kind of just go backwards and forwards through this door and you should get him in the end. Okay, there he's toast. Now keep in, keep in mind that if you walk through this door and it closes behind you and you're trying to walk backwards through it, the door won't open. You have to turn around. So you kind of just stand in the doorway so the door can't close. Then we're going to head off all the way down and grab some ammo. Again, resisting the herbs. Nope, no herbs in here, just a 45 cap. And you'll have hundreds of those bullets by the end of it. Grab the map. Now, being the B story, we're going to head through this door and not through the window. Okay, the C4, or the electronic gadget. I think if you examine them, the names get better. Okay, no more bolt cutters needed. 
the knife, the infinite knife, is for completing the game, I think, just once. And that's a lifesaver in this run-through. Although, come to think of it, I don't think I used it. But uh, definitely, if you get hit by a zombie, or if you get grappled, you can take them out. I wanted to see how effective it was to try and cripple them before going for their headshots. Their legs are going to be a shitload easier to hit. Okay, we're going to grab our M79. Now there are some things in here that you can get if you want, but the film is not necessary, the knife's not necessary. But the uh, acid rounds, I think they're flame rounds at the end. Uh, the 45 cap and the flame rounds are the other side. I'm not too sure if I come back and grab them, because you need the spare keys for the keypad. And that is quite a trick. Although I think it was just, I deemed it not necessary. Because the flame rounds I had tons of, and I had tons of the other ammo as well. But the uh, hip pouch would have been a good idea to come back for, now that I know how many steps I had left over. Okay, so someone should be wandering inside now. When the watermelon's like that, you know he's done. Gonna make sure the other guy hasn't miraculously grown legs again. Nope. Okay, we're gonna head around to the corner and there's a save room right there, but I might go into the west office first. Yeah, I think I do. Sit back down. Okay, he's not going anywhere. Now there should be someone banging at the door as well soon. See, that's the large gunpowder. You want to combine that with the high grade to get your eight acid rounds. And you should only use those in combination. This is, of course, unless you want to choose a different weapon to use. And then obviously you can create that ammo. This is 9, 15, 11. And there's our first hip pouch. Always good to see that. Okay, I think we're going to make our way upstairs after searching the rest of this room. Now this desk you don't need to do. If you're going to follow me exactly the way I did it, I didn't use the weapon that's in here or the upgrade. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can just head back out the way we came. SLS-60 is pretty hardcore, but the uh, army gun has got the 45 cap, and that is the weapon that really hurts bosses, especially when they open up and you have a shot at their tender bits. Normally their eyeballs in this case. Yeah, I try to shoot him in the nuts. Maybe that will stop him from moving. It's shooting him in the head doesn't seem to work. I was confused as to where this lady was, but she was obviously above me. And then she dropped down just as I walked past. Oh, I could actually see her there. Oh no! By far the scariest zombie for me is that cop lady. That shriek she yells out every time she detects you is crazy scary. Okay, so there's some stuff in the lockers here as well. Large gunpowder, thanks. 45 cap, thanks. Definitely check those lockers. Save that stuff for later. So keep the valve handle or the round handle and keep the electronic gadget. And make some acid rounds if you so desire. Now in the future I'm not going to show you editing my inventory. I'm just going to show you the end result. So you'll know what I have every time I leave the save room. Nope, I think she's done. Let's board this up. Because when you're being chased by cockstick Mr. X... 
Any zombies in your path can be devastating. The first time I played this game, this guy gave me the biggest fright. He was just around the corner to my right. But there's a, there's a time later on in the video where I almost dropped my load. Scared the crap out of me. And I will show you that later. Okay, there's nothing down there. I think there's just a herb. In here, you want to grab the box. And then the last one has got something in it. The middle one has nutter. Or it didn't have for me. This is going to be cap. And you definitely want what's inside there. Okay, use the handle and let's go forward. See? Don't have to watch the door open. Just run through. Okay, some smaller gunpowder it seems. Nothing in the second one. Okay, some flame rounds and then we're going to head down. I thought the liquor the first time spawned here for the first time um, on one of the first runs, but not this one. I'm going to grab the battery, combine it with the C4, create your detonator. So there is also flashbang and some flame rounds right here. And health items to the right, but we don't need that. There is some high grade gunpowder, I think, to my left. I don't know if I fetch it now. No. Jesus, stay back! Okay, we're going to speed this up because it's a bit of a cat and mouse. Now, there is a way to continue your journey. You can run in circles around that shower bench. But at this instance, I thought I'd just go upstairs, try and do the detonator while he's chasing me. They're kind of herding you in this direction. So that was the guy that gave me the second biggest fright, not the one before. So now you've got Mr. X behind you. You can put DCM in there if you want. I would recommend it because it's 100 machine gun rounds. Which is fantastic. Alright, spade key. So we're going to head in here and use the C4. There's a couple of tricks you can do in here as well. There might be a liquor right there sometimes. It catches me very much off guard later. Grab some ammo there. I'm not sure why I didn't. That's the 45 cap it looked like. So at this point, once you've set the C4, head over here so you can push this guy back right up. Hopefully, before Mr. X gets in here, because he will not let you do that. I think I do grab the ammo now. Yeah. Wasted 20 steps there, John. Let's grab the medallion and head to the library. So I think it is towards the library. Okay, this is going to be a ram, a harp, and what is the third one? The bird? Yeah. Maiden medallion. Now there should be another zombie that comes out of nowhere. Unless he was lying there the whole time. I didn't see him. Definitely would have killed him first because Mr. X is on your case now. I wasn't sure which way to go. I decided to go back the way I came. In the direction that he pushed me away from. Okay, so we're going to speed this up. All the way downstairs. I think we do a bit of a box drop. Yes, we do. Too many items. Okay, so we're going to fade out straight away. I'm just going to show you what we had at the end. That's what I'm taking with me. Sorry, that was a bit quick. Maybe pause it if you will. And a bit of a footsteps check. 1,600 I think it was. Okay, back on up. Speeding up. We're going to head back down to where we were going. And this way we can grab the map and the unicorn medallion. Okay. 
This is going to be the children, the scales, and I think it's the worm, but I think it's bacteria actually. Well, not bacteria, virus. Like a very, very zoomed in, this little thing. It's got that kind of hook on the end. It's got to be. Okay, unicorn. And there is something on the table to my left, but I don't think it was necessary. And the library is lovely. It's got a town. I guess avoiding these zombies every playthrough and using your ammo sparingly. That's just nice to see, like I was saying before, the visuals. Okay, sure, the blood's squirting out of their legs, but just how they break apart. Stuff like that is interesting. This guy's very tough, so I thought I'd get a couple of shots in him, and what he does then is he follows you, which is a good thing. The next time you come into this main hall, he's going to be here, and it won't make the library so cramped. Okay, crown, a torch, and a bird. Torch as in a flame, like an Olympic flame, I would say. Something like that. And the bird, or the peace dove. Ain't nothing peaceful about this, except the pieces we leave the zombies in. Okay, we've got all the, all the medallions. Like I said, this guy's gonna follow. And he takes a beating. When I hit him, that is. She's back at it. Should be him done after maybe a clip and a half. There we go, the power of editing. We're all done there. Are we going to head back up? No, we're not. Those buckets just get up over and over again. You really got to offload clips into them. It does make the game more difficult later if you don't take them out. There's no reason not to. That's why I'll be playing. Okay, safe code. 6211. I think this is an upgrade for a weapon that I don't use. MQ11. No, I think it is. Was it the MQ11? I'll have to have a closer look in a bit. Okay, we're going to head and grab the... The jewel, that's where we're going, for the statue. Now, don't do what I did. Make sure you have your grenade launcher equipped and loaded because you're going to have a split second to spin around and to shoot this liquor in his face. Otherwise, he will eat you. And if you're unlucky enough to have Mr. X on your tail right now, I'd suggest coming into this room a bit later. Or well, there is a trick you can do as well when he enters the room, which I'll show you in a second. Luckily, you can equip it in the menu. The second you shoot him, take out your weapon again and don't stop shooting. Okay, now I wasn't sure where Mr. X was, so I'm going to skip ahead a bit. After examining that, grabbing the dongle. As you examine it, the USB will pop out. I'm pretty sure you know this by now. So I don't think you'll be doing this on your first play. I don't think you can. Okay, that's where we are. Oh, hello. Now you can run past him. Any boss as well coming through a doorway, you can run past. I think that's the only zombie I ever left in the game. Mr. X, hot on my tail. Had to get out. Okay, let's run a bit faster now. Alright, into the library again. Let me see where I'm going. Probably upstairs. No, we're going to stay on the ground floor and we're going to go use the dongle in the star's office. Right over here. Now, the mistake I made was to not retrieve the dongle. I retrieved it in my other playthroughs, but I didn't think I would need it again in this one. Incorrect. Take the dongle with you because there's an upgrade for this weapon and you have to have it to get it. Definitely worth it. It actually gives you a silencer, which helps a lot when you're taking out the enemies in the library when Mr. X is chasing you because he won't be alerted. So 
Very, very cool little tip that. But if he's on your tail already, then obviously there's no way you can get rid of him. You can just get him to stop following you. Or pursuing you at least. If you go out of line of sight, he does kind of wander away. Okay, let's speed this up again. We're going to head back downstairs. Or maybe we go upstairs now. There was normally a, a zombie there, that's why I ran back through that door. Okay, we're gonna head down, and there's Mr. Lewis, so that's not gonna help us. I think I'll do the little bathroom trick now. That sounds bad. Running in circles around the bench. That takes care of him. Now I can continue on my quest. Okay, skipping ahead, that's what I'm taking with. Pause it there if you want to have a closer look. Uh, it's the UMB that uh, I cap, so I'm not going to be using that one, that upgrade. Okay, save the game, let's get out. That scared me. You could say it scared me, would be an understatement, because there's no goddamn footsteps. It's actually quite funny, if you keep that door open, and he's trying to chase you, he'll stick his head inside, but he, he'll just carry on walking in one spot. Okay, I waited for him to piss off. To continue, we're going to head through the west office. Use the key here. Now, I could have used that earlier when I was in this hall, just to unlock the door. So I could have discarded that earlier. But we're going to head down. Off we go. To the secret room, there's going to be some flame rounds on your left. There they are. Nothing else in here for us. And that's what I'm taking with me. Again, a bit quick, but I'll show it again there. That's okay. Okay, let's head on down. So that sound you heard there is actually the Mr. X protecting you, but he ain't coming down here. Now I left this elevator ride in on purpose. A lot of people like to walk around, just don't move. Just stand in the elevator, save yourself a couple of steps. But like I was saying before, I did this kind of thing without knowing how lenient it was going to be. But if it's the reason you're playing the game or playing this playthrough, then why not save some steps? Okay, now we're going to grab the upgrade for our MQ-11. Not before grabbing a hand grenade. Holy hand grenade. Okay, so we're going to get this upgrade right here. Like I said before, it is the Silent Saw, which is awesome. We're going to put that on straight away. He now takes up two slots, which is worth it. Okay, speeding this up. Okay, coming up to our first boss fight. Now this guy is easy enough because the cornering is so good. You can always stand behind a corner. Words ain't gonna cut it this way. Nope, no words. So again, in the effort of trying to save ammo on all the other guns, see how much I can use on this one. to me in my eyeball something about mary gotta love that movie okay don't get him too close because he will destroy you even this is a bit close for my liking watching it again see now i should have gone around there because he's leaning on the ground but i was not aware of this at this point could have been shooting him right now and then when i do he comes back but i don't think he hits me on this one like i was saying not too difficult with this one
Probably goes without saying, but he should aim for his right shoulder. With the eyeball. There he is, he's toast. Well, version 1 is toast. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead, guys. Well, not skip ahead, speed it up. All you're going to do is run in a circle around here. Make sure you collect everything, except the herbs. Lots of goodies to pick up. And again, the more stuff you pick up now just makes the end bosses a lot easier. Save up all the ammo you can. And just offload flame rounds, as well as acid rounds. And of course, the army gun. It takes a very long time to reload. But it's very powerful. Okay, another large gunpowder. Was it large? I'm not actually sure. Maybe it was small. But yeah, like I said before, combine the large ones with the high grade to get your eight acid rounds. Don't combine anything else unless you're using a different you weapon. You got it. Pull lever. So, what's mine? So again, don't go running off into this and moving, but uh, running in one spot. That's just going to destroy your step count. Hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Okay, so, so let's have a look around. We're going to find another hit um, pouch in there, which is just fantastic. Is my mom, but he's gone. Okay, we're going to fade out, and this is what I'm taking with me. Something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Again, a little bit quick. Sorry about that. Just Over give there. it a pause there. I do leave it for longer later on. It's closed. Yes, it is. Okay, long cutscene. Okay. Now head straight to the left. Key card first. Don't do what I do then here. Go into that door on the left and grab the map. If you want to. Or you could just run right through. I decide to go get it. Because you will go back there after all this is done. But I thought having the map is never a bad Let's thing. See where that guy came from. Well, the door behind you is gonna be a key that you don't have. But we will have it soon enough. So I chose this costume because it's more streamlined. Maybe she'll run faster. No other reason at all. Cough, cough. Okay, this guy's going to be right there. Make sure you get him. Reload and then open fire. Make sure you reload before you start emptying your clip into him because sometimes they can just take a beating and he'll run all the way up to you and it's not worth it. Just use the flame round you're going to have that stuff left over. Okay, this was a very difficult part. Took about four or five attempts to do it perfectly. This guy's right here. Again, doing the door trick. As you can see, there are three. Now this guy just disappeared. Now if you look to the right, there's a way they can come over the roof there, so just be careful. Just over here. But they're so damn quick. Hearing them could possibly be too late. Because they're so damn quick, they can just jump from anywhere. I think this guy was just over the stairs here, or down the stairs. There, you can just see him bobbing. Very close, make very sure he's dead. Naughty, didn't reload. Love that shadow effect there, that's awesome. Okay, reload, let's move on. Okay, now there is a locker down here. I'm not sure if I go to it. Oh no, it's not here. Sorry, that's the mansion. This is the door you can go into. This is the morgue. So don't use that one. Or well, the second one. Do the second last one and the last one. No, sorry, just the last one here. You can grab the flashbang. And don't open the one next to it like I did. There is no need. I equipped that one because there's only one left, although it doesn't make much difference. So close that up, and he's not going to bother you anymore. Not that he was. We're going to head over to the second last one and grab the key. So 
So my next guide is going to focus more on the collectibles, 100% collectibles, as well as the collectibles on the B scenario. So subscribe if you haven't for lots more content upcoming. I've only got three or four more days of work next week, and then I'm doing this full time. And he watermelon, so he's done. If you're playing on headphones, then you'll hear the explicit sound of that head popping. Okay, now I was very cautious coming back through here, but I've sped it up because there was no threats. Nice, some high grade right there. Gunpowder, that is. Okay, now there is one here. First time I came around this corner, it destroyed me. But we learned. He was poised to jump there. I was lucky. Probably dead. He is not the. No, he is. Okay, grab the box, and this is going to have the key inside it to the boot of a car. Okay, we're about 37 minutes in now. Things looking good. I do end the game with a slight limp, but it was definitely worth it. Get the two achievements, small carbon footprint and food list, no health items used. So there's no need to go in this door other than to use the key up so you can discard it. So I just ran out. There's nothing in there to collect that I'm going to use, but you can have a look if you want. So this is heading out of the firing range now, back to where we came. To the parking lot and we're going to go grab this weapon can't remember for the life of me which one it is ah it's the full weapon okay not the upgrade so again i didn't have to do that unless of course you guys want to use that weapon but i just stick with the unlimited ammo I'm not sure all of them are available with the unlimited ammo. Something I need to look more into. Okay, now we can go inside. And then we're going to head back up to the mansion. I keep calling it a fucking mansion. It's a police station. I guess mansion is synonymous with Resident Evil. And there is the upgrade I was thinking about. Thanks very much. We'll have that. Edit. Make fit. Thank you. The GM, let's call him the general manager because he is the staple weapon pretty much. Having a look around without walking around is how to scope the rooms. So we're going to skip this ahead or speed it up. I think speed it up. Okay, we're going to go up. Back to the chief's office. Not back yet. It's the first time we're coming here. Grab them bullets. And we're going to head over to the save point. Again, scanning the room for items without actually moving is the way forward. Okay, skipping ahead. This is what I'm taking with me. I like to keep the MQ 11 for the dogs as well as some of the boss monsters like the last guy. 
the very last guy should I say on the true ending which you will witness with this okay we can head all the way around grab the heart key so cryptic Resident Evil okay there is the parking card thank god the key card so now our mission is to find two electronic parts. Now to do this, we need the cog from the storage room. I think it's east. As well as the um, tool. And that can be found in the uh, reports room, I think it is. Let's have a look where we go. Now I thought about going downstairs. But uh, there are there is some ammo in the locker down there. You can go check it out if you want. You will have enough steps. Okay, let's check out some lockers. And then I think we go through that door. The other one is the balcony. Yep, this is the room we want. Now, very, very carefully here, make sure you've got your knife equipped or your sub-weapon equipped that you can prevent a zombie from chowing you. They can be very sneaky with these corners. So watch your flank. He was still animated. Oh no! Right. Okay, let's grab our massive cog. Now she's finished. See, she would have just got up again and surprised me with the whole throat ripping thing. Not cool. Large gear. Sorry, I've been calling it a cog. Okay, from there, we cannot head into the main hall. That door is locked. It can only be opened from the other side, so we have to go via the library. And for that, we need the tool. And that is going to be in the records room, I think it is, not the reporting room. So that room right there to the south, where I'm facing right now, go into that because there is an electronic part in there. I have no idea why I just looked at it and walked away. But this is something you can do again to reduce your steps. Or maybe I was checking that door. Nope, for some reason I just don't go in there. And you most definitely need to go in there. Cut a lot of time off the game as well as the steps. Sure, no idea why I didn't go there. I'll head back there after I go to the clock tower. It's not very far away from that part. Okay, grab some ammo, and then we're going to head down and swap the water direction. And now you hear the screech of my favorite zombie. And which is really close. Jesus, that's scary. Takes a beating. There we go, watermelon. Oh, yep, don't think he's getting up. I'm super amped to try this on hard mode or hardcore mode with infinite ammo still have to do the trophy where you don't open any ammo boxes or any crates or as in the ones that you use to store stuff that's going to be an interesting run because you can't access the gun that will void the trophy okay mr x makes another appearance now you can't go back up the way you came because that doesn't let you get to the other part of the house so run in here swing around Play a bit of cat and mouse. I'm gonna speed this up as well. There we go, cat and mouse done. We're gonna to head to the clock tower, I think it is. But we have to go to the library first. Some 
entry work there. Okay, through the waiting room and back to the main hall. Anyone still animated? Doesn't look like it. We're gonna head across through the west office, it looks like. Okay, liquor alert. He killed me the first time coming in here. I didn't have my sub weapon equipped. Amateur. Okay, we're gonna find the other electronic part in here, I think. No, we're gonna find the tool in here, sorry. As well as some high grade gunpowder. And Mr. X will follow you in here, but he's fairly easy to lose. Okay, let's lure him in. Although he doesn't need luring. Okay, at this point I was kind of thinking to myself, where is that part? I just don't know why I didn't go into that room, it's so weird. But uh, we're going to do some box drop and then we're going to head upstairs. Again, skipping ahead to what I've got, what I'm taking with, obviously the cog and the tool. Let's do a footsteps check. 4,000 odd. No idea if that was good or not at that stage. So he's still pondering around somewhere, this Mr. X cockstick. We are going to the top floor. We're going to head to the library, I think. That shadow still gets me. I got a large fright entering this room here. Perfect timing. Okay, now we're going to sort this little puzzle out, although well, it's not really a puzzle, as it is doing some removals. No thanks. Asshole. Last shot got him. Now I can hear Mr. X approaching. I should be using the silencer, but I want to save the ammo. No. Shit. I think that's the only shot I do. Let's stun him a little bit. Not like that. That should give us more than enough time to sort this crap out. And let's speed it up a bit. Now there's some ammo tucked away in the corner. I could hear his steps, but I don't think I cared. I want the 45 cap. Okay, up we go. Okay, finally, the third floor main hall. Now there's going to be two very sneaky zombies right around this corner. Got a bit close for my liking. Okay, I didn't realize he had watermelon already. 
But I've had that happen to me. I think someone's dead or not animated. And then you run past them later and they grab your foot. You can ruin the whole run. Okay, we're going to enter the large gear. And then remove it again. So we're going to swap some gears around to grab the electrical part. And this is when I realized I needed to go across the hallway. Luckily, I could go there fairly straightforward from here. Okay, off we go down, put the last one in, and we're going to grab it. That worked. It did. Okay, hit your left, and it's going to be chilling right here. There she is. Numero uno. I think it's around this time I started thinking, okay, where is it? And I can see the room right there. Not red, but blacked out. So I do run across there now, I think, and grab it. Well, I better. No, Mr. X. Oh, he's right there. But luckily, we can enter that room from this side. Otherwise, this would have been a large trick. It's probably why they do it. There we go. So you probably will not be doing this now. After you've got your electrical part, you can head down to the chief's office via the balcony and outside. Okay, here we go. There it is. Voila. Grab the knife if you so desire. Can't hurt to have a knife in there. And if you pick up a knife, make sure you equip that one instead of your infinity one. So it can be lost. It does not matter. Okay, it looks like we're right there. We want to go down, but we have to go to our right on the balcony. Oh, here he comes. Nope. A couple steps. But first, we're going to do a box drop, it looks like. By box drop, I mean just, you know, drop your shit off at the box box office okay so this is what I'm taking with me now both keys both electronic parts and some ammos not that way yeah we didn't have to go on the balcony for this we just went down the stairs okay so I'm going to skip ahead uh, you can pause it on the screen when it's complete, but it starts off completely randomly. But that is the end result there. So pause that if you want and work it out from there. Okay, now we're going to do the irritating sherry scene or sequence. And I'm going to speed up the hell out of that. Because it's very linear and you one thing to do all the time. So we'll speed this up a lot. That's just not right. I was curious to see if the footsteps were counted in this. Uh, they were <laughs> in the end. Okay, now the box puzzle. Now I've got a guide in the description, guys, and I'll probably put a card at this point leaning you towards this. It's completely random for everyone, and I've got a detailed strategy on how to do that yourself. And like I said, I'll put a card up at this point in the video, but I'll also have all the videos in the description, and I'll do lots of videos like that. Just little quick, short helping videos. Until I do one like this, which is a mammoth project for me. It's been about three days now in the making. And it is tons of fun, making sure I get exercise in between. Cannot sit here for 10 hours, because I'm currently averaging 15, 16 hours. Obviously, I'll get up and jog around the block a couple of times. 
every now and again to get the blood flowing. But back to this, we have Sherry on the run, and she's going to go, well not on the run yet. We're going to go grab the key. Okay, run, Sherry, run. We're going to head upstairs, but again, I'm going to speed this up a lot. Very straightforward, very easy. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Okay, so you hide right here. And again, going to speed it up. I've got to stop saying that. It's just a force of habit. I just remember people commenting about hacking my PS4 and messing with the coding of the PS4. Unsubscribe from this channel. I mean, Jesus. Some people just have no idea. Just bored and aggressive, I guess. But that's always going to happen. The channel, you cannot please everyone all the time. But it doesn't hurt to try. Okay, show me around, and he's going to move that cot, which is going to be your escape route. Something catches his attention, and he turns around. Oh God, oh God. Just long enough for you to sneak past. Just gotta be here somewhere. So head around under the table, and then just wait. It takes his time, but I'm going to skip ahead until he walks past you. Then you can run up and grab the key, and then tuck tail. Head towards the shining easter egg, as I like to think it is. She will automatically take the key after you've unlocked the door. You don't have to try and get it back. Yes, Johnny! Okay, head around the corner and then the cutscene is going to kick in. You will get the parking permit for the shutter in the wait, garage. Asshole. Yep, you just wait. Okay, now we have to go to the orphanage to rescue little Sherry. And I do like this run. I like going outside the buildings. Lots of dogs and lots of zombies to take care of. We're going to head down the lift. Obviously. And again, standing still, straight to the parking lot, and cue Mr. X. You again? Just a bit of cat and mouse. I see he hasn't found his hat. Good. Make sure he goes around the outside of that car. If he turns around and comes back, you might not get enough time, because these guys can pose a problem sometimes. This makes me laugh at the start of the game. There's a gun shop here, and there's no way we can get past. And she says, Oh, we have to go through the gun shop. I feel like that's the thing you would want to go through. That and something else that happens just now, which is uh, quite funny. Okay, keep aware that Mr. X is on your tail. So if you can stun them, run past. But he will not follow this way. I wish there was more outside areas. I think she watermelons. Okay, the puppies. The nasty puppies. Got some cool tricks. You can shoot all of these guys, except for one before they even notice that you're there. There is one over there, you just can't see it. But I can't, there's one there, there he is. That takes care of that one. Now the one only initiates once you get through this here, so make sure you've got a fast weapon applied and don't hold back. There's no point in getting damaged or eaten by this guy now. Although your health will regenerate to 50%, but uh, there he is. He's down, and now I was cautious, but I speed this up because there are no more enemies around this side. Now the next bunch of enemies, you got to get them before they jump the fence, otherwise they will destroy you. Having more than one dog circling you is guaranteed damage. 
I say guaranteed, but uh, depending on what weapon you've got, you could shoot the ground with a grenade launcher. But you don't need to. They line up right underneath the poop. As you can see, and that's where they'll jump over the fence. So just aim your gun there the whole time, and they will come to you. Now there's one more guy. And he's going to be just other side of this car. Sneaky little puff at it. But we're going to go grab our ammo first. You should try and get the extended mag for that gun, MQ-11. I've got a video on that as well. Absolutely awesome. 50 rounds it holds. And you can mow down anything with 50 rounds. Almost everything. So there he is. Last dog down. We're going to head to the bus. The wheels on the bus ain't going nowhere on this guy. Watermelon. Watermelon. Juicy. This guy was quite tough as well. Oh no, he watermelon. Wasn't him. Normally the grey ones are tougher. Something I've just noticed. But, could be coincidence. Yes, what she says running up to the orphanage there makes me laugh every time. I have to deal with this guy first. I wasn't sure at this point if they could get into the bus, but probably not. That was a good shot. Second he stands still, it's all over. So this is my second favorite quote of the game. It's gotta be the orphanage. No shit. What gave it away? Hang on, Sherry. The orphanage sign or the large scribbled animals on the front? I think it was a giraffe and a raccoon. Expertly drawn, I might Hello. add. I have the pendant. Good, so we can get the hell out of this area and head to the sewers. Alright, so from here we're gonna head to his office. There's nothing to grab that I could see. Save, definitely. Save is your friend. And we're going to head down the ladder. Sherry, where are you? Another cat and mouse coming. There. Sherry, I'll be right there. Just keep going. She'll follow. She's never died. She's never got injured or taken. Go, go, go. Just run as fast as you can. No worries there. Claire! It's behind you! Don't stop! I think technically it's behind you, actually. I'm fine. Hey! All I have to do is outrun you. Keep going. <laughs> Sherry's daughter. Okay, sewers ahoy. So this is what I'm taking with. As you can see, I showed a bit longer now. Much better. I've wised up to it. Okay, back out the way we came, all the way down. Uh, Sherry, can you hear me? Into the shit. Now I equip the knife now because like I like shit. to cut okay. those things that those monsters send at you. You'll see in a minute, but having unlimited ammo, it's not really necessary. And definitely don't use it if it's your equipped one, although you can, because you're going to kill whatever comes. Grab the high grade right there. Sometimes spawns right there. Not this time though. Cable car here. Right? It's always a cable car or a platform. Okay, this room, take your time. Slow down a touch because there's guys in here. They can get the drop on you. There is someone over there, but there's no need to wake him, should we say, just yet. Still alive. I had to show this in slow motion. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see this. Oh shit, what was that? Yeah, he's done. Formidable machines, these guys. Okay, let's wake up Mr. Sleepy there. If I could ever hit him in the head.
and he was still animated up into that point. Okay, check the locker for some goodies, and that's going to be SZF. I think it's this one. Yeah. You will learn these off by heart if you play the game enough. Okay, definitely grab that. Now we're going to drop down. Hold on, Sherry. I'll be right there. Okay, this is what I'm taking this time. Now we're going to grab the map on the wall and head into the shit. Let's check our steps. 7,129. Just over halfway, which is fine, because all we've got is the sewers and the lab. I think I ended on, like I said, 12,000 or so, 11,000 something. Plenty to spare. Okay, off we go. Now there is a unique collectible here, but this is not a collectible guide. Grab that note on the other end of that table for one of the exclusive notes. And like I was saying before, I've got a guide coming up on all the collectibles in the whole game. And that's going to take a while to get it. But in the, in the timeline to this, you'll see the timeline to the bosses and to maybe some key items. I'm not sure which ones I'm doing yet. Otherwise, you can always ask me. Potentially dangerous area. Don't rush in there. Okay, it's watermelon. There goes his arm. Now there's someone else over there. Let's wake him up. Shoot him in his ass until he dies. Tickets. Okay, don't go down here. Continue going to the right. Flick the switch and then grab some ammo. Okay, now this is when I had the knife equipped, but I realized that I could just shoot them with the infinite ammo. So that's where we are. What the fuck? Those guys there. So you can just shoot them in the water. If they get to you, they're going to poison you. And I do not know if you get rid of the poison. You can't use any health items. So be really sure. Stay as far away as possible from them. Keeping note of what's in the water. Taking an absolute beating this one. Eventually down, even with a lot of hits to that eyeball. That was crazy. Okay, let's speed this up. We're going to head through another round handle door. Or it's not a round handle, it's a T-handle. It's probably just called the tool. Okay, we're going to head up to the workman's room. I think we do. There is a lift here. As well as a hip pouch, which is always fantastic. This took me quite a few attempts as well. These guys that come crowding around the door outside, for some reason I just I couldn't get past here without being eaten. Now that's the film for the Treasure Hunter Trophy. I also have a full guide on that as well. Check the description. So I was very, very cautious, very slow doing this. Shooting as many times as I can through the door, and it didn't seem to do anything. The effect is there, as you can see, but they just don't die. Even when, I, when they open the door, I shoot them so many times, and they were not going down. Check it out. It's 
exactly what I was thinking. I thought maybe it's something to do with the door. But uh, who knows? Seriously? I love that. All in a nice big pile. Now pieces of piles. As you can see, a couple of them still alive. eventually dies I think you might even be able to use a grenade there just I mean I only used the grenades on the last boss for the hell of it because I had them but you should probably use the grenades and the flashbangs for this kind of situation very very useful you just always under the impression that you want to keep them keep them but just fucking use them okay fourth time here do I need the workman's key to go into that office or not in the end I decided not to do it you'll pick up the key in a couple of minutes then you have to come back to this area to the door to my left and the door over here there's a secret elevator in this room but in the end I decided to grab the plug and carry on forward these guys will never get up although that one would have that guy never has Okay, back into the shitty water. Now when they do this, they're charging you. Tuck tail and run, because they kind of just keep going until they hit you. But he hit the corner there, so he stopped. So he disappears. And at first I couldn't find him anywhere. But then... Taking no chances. There we go. That scared the shit out of me as well. I think that was my first proper damage. With fire. He's finished. Now there is some ammo down the end of this hallway to my left. But uh, I was kind of cautious on the steps at this point because, like I was saying before, I have no idea how long it's going to take or how many steps it takes. Okay, now we're going to grab the key. And then we're going to head down to the alien easter egg, which I like to call the alien easter egg because I choose to call it the alien easter egg. There it is down there. But this is a very difficult section, probably the most difficult part, I would say. I try to shoot, but uh, if you aim your pistol at him, nothing happens. Tell me that's not from Alien. And I've recently told by one of my subscribers Jesus. that the devs are actually fans of the Alien and Stanley Kubrick, The Shining. Okay, get some pot shots in there before things start going really tits up here. I mean, zombies come out of somewhere. I don't even know where they come from. But it gets quite wild. The next couple of minutes. Get the grenade equipped, I'd probably say. Instead of stunning them, cause the damage. wouldn't go down. I was potting him in the eyeball with those shots and eventually he goes down and it goes a bit more crazy now which is good. More enemies, more shots fired, more entertainment. Well done Capcom. Okay now this little fork in the road here, fork in hell. Okay so when things seem calm they're not. So expect anything all the time. These guys will jump up anyway. And I think I get surrounded. 
I was like, okay, well, he's gone. That is the way out down there. This one will always come out of here, but then someone else spawns somewhere else, as you will see. I think that's the same one, because he's already damaged. Then I started hearing noises from my left. <clears throat> and there's another one. Eventually, all of them down. Jesus. That was cool and intense at the same time. No idea where the zombie came out of. And I did get hit by one of the poison guys, but I didn't seem to get poisoned. Maybe it doesn't poison you every time. Poison you every time. Poison you every time. Okay, we're going to head in here and grab the uh, chest pieces or chest plugs. Quick little easy puzzle. I thought about loading here because of the damage, but uh, she seemed okay. And that's pretty much the gist of the hard, hard, hard parts. Everywhere else is manageable, except for one more section in the lab where uh, multiple liquors will come in an open area. Very difficult. Okay, so grab the queen, then head upstairs, grab the king. Is the king or is the rook? No, it's the king. Now swing around, there's going to be guys here waiting for you. Only one guy in the first place where I think it is. And if he's lucky enough to be where he is in there, you can just take the queen plug out of the gate there. And he will be stuck in there. But we have unlimited ammo. So fuck? we're going to have some fun. Okay, grab your plug. goes Queenie. Queenie was the name of a giant manta stingray I swam with in the Caribbean. I'll never forget that. Okay, so the idea is to exit the area with all the plugs. And there we have them. Just a health item up there. Okay, now we have to go back through what we just came through. Now you can take out some of these guys from the walkway. And they don't seem to attack you. But there was no one there. So we jumped in. Now if you stick to the left-hand side, it'll take you all the way out. But uh, expect everything. I'll probably stay up here and see if you can shoot any of the zombies on the, on the side over here. Don't go too far forward. Because uh, Big and Slimy is going to spawn there. He's probably going to come out charging like that. Shoot him. Make him stop. He will grab you, they're definitely poison. Poison right now is death. So I decided to end it. And off we go. That's the sewers almost done. We've got our plugs, which are going to be used in the lab. Okay, now we're going to head back to the way we came. You might recognize this area. Make sure all your stuff's loaded. 
and that these guys are dead. They are, which is why I sped it up. Okay, upstairs we go. Home sweet home. Okay, the chess piece puzzle. Consult the notes. So we have pawn right there. Then we have queen king. Oh no, wait, this is different. That is definitely the pawn first. Then the rook, sorry. The castle, as we call them. Then this side. The bishop. And we're going to place him with the queen. Middle one, we're going to put the bishop. The last one, remove the knight, put in the king, and then put the knight opposite him. Took a while to figure out the first time, and I've got a guide on this as well. Use a pen and paper, trying to work it out there first instead of trying to run around in circles here. All right, Sherry, on my way. All right, Sherry, we're on our way. So let me show you what I left this area with. All right, off we go. Let's check some steps first. Six, eight, I think it is. No, it was probably eight, because I was on seven before. And I mean thousand. Okay, ignore the herbs. Okay, there's a bit of a boss fight coming up now, you could say. And I've got an almost foolproof way to not get damaged by him. The first attack. So the last three buttons up there, complete guess. Okay, so now it happens. Shit! Now the aim is to hang around this host pipe area here, and try and get him to stab down right there, as you can see, and then stand right over here, and he's not going to touch you. So I want to speed this up a lot, so we can get moving. Just over half an hour left. So when he starts banging on the shutter, stand right next to it and sprint. Now you've got to be quick here. He can hit you sometimes. He does a charge attack, as you can hear him behind me. And you'll see just as I get off the edge here, his attacks just missed me. Okay, so this being assisted difficulty, this shouldn't be a problem. Offload the army gun, takes a long time to reload. So at this point, I think he's still attacking me. I think he drops down now. But uh, don't activate it on the first try. Rather let him get up. And do it again just to be sure. He does slap me once, I think, right here. Nope, on the next one around. How's that for a dodge? Under his armpit. They do not like that gun. Now's a good time to push it. Now, for some reason, I stood here and just stared at him when I should have been offloading my gun into him. For some reason I thought he'd have enough damage, but I was wrong. So don't stand there like an idiot like me. Shoot him, everything you have. Otherwise this will happen. So reset the crane. Now ideally you want to push it straight away, but uh, it doesn't have enough time yet. And I should have realized this. Should have carried on shooting him. All I wanted to do was push the damn button and be done with it. But up he gets. And I get slapped around for my stupidity. There she is. 
And that is my limp for the rest of the game. But it's fine. It's doable. Alright. Time for an encore. There we go. No more standing around. And that time he is toast. I'm so sorry, Sherry. This is taking forever. Alright, reload and let's get the hell out. Make our way to the lab soon. And there we can start the last leg of this awesome journey. Where's the kid in the incinerator? Right, let's get her out of there. I'm going to speed this up a lot. Because you can't do nothing. Wait, that cable car. Just get to the cable car and head down to the labs. Remember guys, smash that like button if you join the content. I've got a lot more longer guides on the way out. Detailed tutorials. And if that stuff interests you, stick around. I'm also going to be activating my Patreon soon. So if you want to be a paid subscriber and get yourself on the channel, I'll even be showing videos of subscribers and photos and stuff like that, as well as competitions. So stick around if that sounds good to you. Okay, let's get to the lab. You know what? I am going to enjoy my visit. Especially with some flame rounds. Now there is a chest as well as a save point next door the hall. Okay, this is what I'm leaving with. We're going to head to quite a few liquors now. Oh wait, not just yet, it's just zombies for now. Do a quick step check. I think it says 95. Okay, the cafeteria. Where something quite funny happens. A zombie that was eating another zombie gets up and the other zombie sticks to its back. Actually looks like it's taking it somewhere to safety, but we know that's not the way it is. Okay, so stand right here. Do your thing. He watermelon, always good to see that. She's also quite a scary zombie, definitely. You know, the noise you hear on your left is just a zombie eating a zombie, but it doesn't attack you until you attack it. This is when the strange thing happens. Check this out. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, right? Shit. Eventually she shakes him off. And watermelons herself. Our menu is designed for your nutritional needs using our latest biological research. I'm sure it is. Our tasty selection of healthy foods. Pop. Now, I thought there was some ammo down here. I could have sworn there was. Maybe it's more to my left. Okay, we're gonna drop down into the kitchen, grab some gunpowder, a knife, and then be wary of an army guy. <laughs> who loves to grapple you just outside this door large gunpowder always good connect only or mix only with the high end and a spare knife never hurt anyone okay approach the door softly and slowly Can't separate his extremities on this guy. But in here, you want to grab the wristband, combine it, and then grab the flame rounds on the right. Which I didn't grab for a while, I don't know why I didn't see them. The focus was elsewhere. But grab them on the table right there. And we're going to head out. Back to where we came. Dr. Lee. Save, do your thing. By Chief in the east area. So this is what I'm taking to the next one. Similar lo loadout.
Okay, heading to the east area. The only area available at the moment. Okay, safe room. It's checking if there are any items, I think. Avoid the herb. I don't think I changed much. Definitely store one of those, but you can always discard it as well. For emergencies. Okay, our first veinies. I think that's what the devs call them. Now these guys are brutally fast if they get close to you. So try and destroy from a distance. One fire, one acid will do it. But in the interest of saving ammo, use the unlimited gun. You've got to shoot the orange parts of him, otherwise he won't die. Flashbang right there. Now we're going to do some codes. Two, zero, four, eight, and five, eight, three, one. That'll unlock both. Then we're going to grab the cartridge. Now we get to the infamous puzzle. The goddamn mixtures. I eventually did this on my own, but uh, I did look at a text guide to find the quickest way of doing it. Just want to make sure I was able to do it the first time. Okay, so this bitch, blue, red, no, green. No, no. Now again, this is only going to be prudent if yours starts off in this position as well. There's no guarantee it will. Blue, red, green. And then red, blue, red. So yeah, this probably isn't going to be the code that you need, but then blue, green, blue. And red, green at the end. And that's going to get it. Now I do have another video explaining this um, as well, so check the description as well for that. That's a video solely for that puzzle. Okay, we're going to head back up and disperse the dispersal. Nope, we decided to go shoot someone first. We have to make it cold anyway before we use the disposal car cartridge, or dispersal cartridge, should I say. Now just to my left over here, there is a map. It's not very necessary for this place, but uh, the large gunpowder definitely is worth the trip down this little corner. Okay, this is where I had probably the most trouble because the liquor comes out of nowhere. I still couldn't tell you what direction it comes from. But like before, shoot everyone. You don't want these guys running around while you're trying to deal with liquors. Especially when you don't have to. Stay down. <laughs> She's relentless. Damn it. I think that's them down. Nope, there's always one more. Yeah, that movement she did there, I think, is their final movement. They kind of lean over. Okay, so at this point. Um, probably a good idea to turn the lights on. Better to see them liquors.
but I wasn't sure if turning the lights on caused the second one to come or not, but uh, more liquor is more fun. Almost. Here we go, match up the signals. And I was lucky to get away with my life on this one. So as you can see, I position myself right in the corner so I could see every angle and he still sneaks up on me. So the first one's going to be simple enough. It's going to drop down in front of you right there. So now reload and wait for the second one while we shoot that one. As you can see, can you see where he comes from? He's just there all of a sudden. And this is on the roof. So maybe check the left, my left flank there in that doorway. So yeah, be careful with that. As you can see, I'm on caution now. I think that's where it stays. I wanted to load my game and I'm like, nope, again, let's just see how lenient they are and how difficult it is from this point. But she still runs fast enough for me. That took 10 headshots, I think. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. Okay, let's make it cold. Ooh, damn. Should have packed my parka. Cooling complete. Okay, off we go back, but this time we're going to go to the left and up the stairs. There's always going to be someone inside this door. I was a bit reckless running in like that. Okay, now some guys drop out of thin air as well. Or should we say further up the stairs. Instead of offloading at these guys, you probably aim, wait for your reticle to close in, and then shoot. Like so. But it is good just to offload. <laughs> There's somebody offloaded that dude. I think he still gets up, I'm not sure. But there's a chicken here, my favorite. some more acids. Can never have enough acid. Rounds. Okay, so here we're going to go on to not this one. That one is not operating. Don't need the note. This is going to take us back to the save room. Which is exactly where we want to be. Okay, I am taking that. Let's check some steps. 10,000. Alright, we're getting there anyway. Only about 15, 16 minutes left. Hope you guys are enjoying the guide. It took me an incredibly long time to make. If you have any questions at all, obviously just ask me. I think you know by now I'm always going to answer. Although some of them I can't answer. It's weird. I'm not sure if it's because they don't have a Gmail account. But uh, click on the comment and I can't reply. So if that's you, I apologize. But we're not going to apologize to Vaini here. You see how quickly they can move. I can't wait for hardcore mode. I'm definitely going to try that tonight. So I've been editing all day. Itching for a play.
Okay, disperse the dispersal cartridge. So much for the weed infestation. Yep. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution. This was the idea. Your actions have been locked, and you may be subject to disciplinary. That was a dead one from earlier. Just making sure. Now I probably would stop, turn around and shoot the one guy. Because if you come and get the key, then they're going to be two guys together. I know. More the merrier. But uh, also more the deader. So you be careful. Awesome. Awesome looking monsters. They're actually Venus flytraps. I advise you to save and let one eat you. It's fucking hilarious. The way games are going these years, or these days, I was expecting that leaf to move shooting through it. But this is not Red Dead. That guy caught me completely off guard, and I think I caught him off guard as well, because I should have been dead right there. These guys grab you, you're dead. There is no getting away unless you don't have a sub weapon equipped or if you do have a sub weapon equipped then you can get away which we do so i'm still yet to use i don't think i've been grabbed just smacked around okay we are heading almost to the last guy i'm gonna speed this up a lot long way to run and now i've just decided i'm going to start this clip again and speed it up even more Okay, to the west area we go. Just a grenade down here. Turn the lights on. Fairly simple, these guys. Move the one until it's close, then move the other one way or the other you'll get it you got to match up the AWS over there obviously okay heading out of that room towards the penultimate boss now we've got some high grade gunpowder right there now there's another save point in here that's why I didn't show you any of the weapons but I most definitely will here. Some more acid rounds on the way there, I'm assuming. Nice. And some higher grade gunpowder. And the purple haze there, leave that. Okay, so this is what I'm taking with. Lots of acid, lots of flame. Not even sure the wristband is necessary anymore. But you'll pick up a shitload of stuff as well. But you don't want to do that while you're fighting, so make sure you've got your ammo saved up. Check some steps, and we're looking good on that. So at this point, I was very happy knowing that this wasn't in vain. And now I know how lenient they are. Thank God. Not terribly. I mean, you'd have to run around in circles for quite a while to get the rest of those steps. But let us go to the semi-final boss. Now I'll try and talk in amongst the explosions, but always have something between you and him, like this is not ideal. Lucky to get away with that. Although this is the third last boss I think it is, yep yeah, it is. Fail. See there, when you see the eyeball, take out the normal gun. And I would still st save the uh, powerful weapon, the 45 cal. Don't use it on this guy. I'm just throwing those because I had them, like I was saying before. But you want to use a more piercing ammo for the eyeballs, like that. Very, very, very effective. Now there's also one on his back, so if you get to stun him, you can go around there and shoot that. There's one on his leg now. Should probably get both of those. Ah, unlucky. Let's 
So now he's getting pissed off. He's going to throw something at you. Just make sure there's something between you and him. But don't stand too close to it because it will explode. There we go. He's done. Before you head off, do a thorough search of the area. Go down every avenue here, all around the edges. Grab all the ammo and weapons. Or just ammo, I guess. And some grenades. Wanted to check again to see, but uh, barely make 12,000, I think. Or maybe it was a bit more. Don't actually remember. Okay, back to Sherry we go for the last time. There'll be tons of save points before you get there. Just run all the way back. I mean, before you get to the next boss, I mean. Shush. Okay, here she is. Cutscene and skip. Upgrade wristband. That is for the Sherry, terminal. Yeah. I want to rush you, but we have to go. Yeah, you better rush her. Okay, we're gonna head down the lift, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Agreed. Okay, we're gonna skip the lift ride because we can. Penultimate boss. I remember that being high grade gunpowder. Strange. Okay, shit's starting to blow up. Let's see what I'm taking. The rest of the acid and the flame. Again, I would probably keep that weapon, the Cal 45, for the final guy. Because this one is not very difficult. Well, I didn't find him difficult. You just keep the train between you and him. And you can avoid almost all of his attacks. A couple of things to go through first. Run, Sherry. Sherry, run! Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry, run. Awesome Resident Evil music. I'm going to play the next one with the old school sounds. They've got on the deluxe version, you can change the, the soundtrack to the original version. But it's not just the soundtrack, it's also the sounds of the. The box opening and the zombies is awesome. Very nostalgic. Of course, the stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Sherry, what are you? I think I can open it from the other side. Okay, now you have to take out two of these veinies. Don't let them get too close like I do. God damn it, your team sucks. Taking any risks there. Okay, he's down. Now she should be done. Open the goddamn door. There it is. Change my shortcut. Okay. One more zombie in our way, I think. Fiery Fred, he is. Okay, there is a box and stuff there. You can sort shit out if you want to. Grab every bit of ammo and weapons that you have because once you initiate this, you can't get to the box anymore. So you want to head inside, grab the strange battery looking thing. Batteries. Plugs. Okay, if you've got enough space for the minigun, I highly suggest picking it up. Because it's balls fun. Didn't realize it auto shortcutted for me. Okay, off we go. Now from the start, do not shoot him. Run to the left or right. Otherwise he will jump on you. Once he is on the platform, then you can start the attack. So make sure there's always a corner between you and him. His lunging attack needs a straight line. 
as you'll see right here, when he claws like that, I was lucky to get away with this. He's very, very quick with that to make sure you can always get away. When he's on the wall, use your minigun, don't stop shooting him. You can knock him off. Now my first attempt at this, I did everything I did now, and I ran out of ammunition and he didn't die. The second time, he died fairly quickly. I don't quite know why. So don't stop here, run all the way to the end, get behind the car again. He's getting a bit delirious. Oh, he's gonna jump. If you don't if you don't knock him off the wall, make sure you're not standing in the same place. There, I used my powerful gun. Probably should have kept that for the last boss. And I should, yeah, I should definitely should. The last one can be tough. Move on to the acid and flame rounds. I probably shoot him with one flame round and then acid, so he's on fire the whole time. Although I think the acid also does long-term effect. Take this time to reload as well. No, nope, here he comes. I thought that would do it. That gun is so powerful. With over five minutes to spare, that'll probably grab you those other trophies as well. And then the last boss, we're on the train now. And I think this only happens if you get the true ending. The first time I played this game, I did not get to fight this guy. But um, this time I did, so I've got tons of acid to take with me. And there is the steps, 12,400. So we're looking just under 13, I would say. Some more stuff to grab on the side here. Now this boss, I would focus on the left and right. Don't do exactly what I did by shooting the, the claws that are blocking the eyeball. Look on the left and right. Every now and again, you'll see eyeballs uh, pop up. Try and shoot for that stuff rather. I did this about four or five times and eventually I got him. Check this out. At this point I use my powerful gun, but don't do this, don't use that gun yet, wait until the eyeball smack bang in front of you, and then offload that, so you'll see in a second. So there we have it guys, two very long trophies in the bag. Now I had tons of fun making this video, it took me an incredibly long time, at least two or three days to do it. A lot of effort went into the editing as well, so please smash that like button if you enjoyed the content. Comment as well, I'm always going to reply to comments. There are lots more guides on the way, especially to do with the B story. So I want to say thank you so much for watching guys, and I want to catch you on the next one. Wait there.